Tell me where this is from. What's that from? You get a prize. If you can tell me where that's from, you get a crystal. <laughs> you will never guess. But you should. If you are old enough, you will remember. Okay, Doc. Welcome back, everybody. If there is no face here, they're like, what the hell is this guy doing? He's playing funny thing. He's got all kinds of hair on his face. What does Australia mean? That's where you're from? You're not from Australia. Oh, was that you were saying that's what is? No, what, oh, oh, where's it from? Oh, you mean, no, I'm not talking about the instrument. I was talking about the little ditty, the little song, the little... Uh, where, where is this sound bite from? This is from your childhood from somewhere. No, no, this is from Laos. From Laos and Jaw Harp. Yes. If you can get that, then you win. You win a prize. Okay, Doc. We are putting little thing away. This is my favorite five gram piece of metal. Here it is inside this little box. Little tube. Okay, Doc. So Emily's here. You're lucky because Bill didn't come back to buy your crystal. Crocodile Dundee. That's not a knife. What are you talking about? Jack and Diane. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's all about like that. No, it's not Jack and Diane. Hey, little ditty about Jack and Diane. It is, it is a noise effect from something, but it's not a cartoon. Should I tell you? You probably will never guess it. I could do it again, but you know, you'd have to just have to know it. You're not gonna get it. You might get it, I don't know. <laughs> That's the same one. It's when, you want me to tell you or not? Anyways, let's just play with rocks. That is when Pac-Man dies. Okay, Doc, now we, are, we hope you brought your extra panties because I am going to blow your face off with my crystal. This one is best, best, best Ahoyet you have seen in long, long time, unless you saw it last time I showed it, which was uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, I don't know, was that a couple of, mo a couple of it? Yay! Hello, Alice. Thank you for joining us. Okay, now, let's see if we can mess up Emily's head. 
<laughs> Here, let me fix my hair so I can look crazy. Let me be all crazy, ready? Ah, we're going to show you the craziest rock you've ever seen. Okay, dokie, right here. I can show you it with my face. Okay, dog. Now we can show you with the zoom and get rid of my ugly face. Go away, face. Bye. Yes, this is, uh, I don't know, I guess I called it part of my collection last time and Emily was like, sell it, damn it! And I was like, yeah, I, well, I might, but it's, you know, it's close to five figures. It's a fucking crazy ass rock, like absolutely ridiculous rock. <clears throat> yes, gimme. You don't get a chance like this every day, but it's not, not a joke price either. It's definitely an expensive rock. Will I sell it? Yes, I guess I'll sell it for the right price if you'll pay me the right price. But I can't, it can't be cheap. It's not going to be cheap. So I told the story last time when I got this piece, this, this is polished. But when I got it, it was literally coated like, like this much. It was coated in this crust and I couldn't even see the termination. Like this was so badly crusted that I thought this was the top. And this is actually all self healed. This is all crystalline. This is all crystals in here. So then I like flipped it over and I was like, wait a minute, that's the top. But it just was this ugly ass crusty thing. And the only blue I could see was like, like that. And I was like, well, there's blue in it, so we might as well open it up. And then we opened it up and <laughs> this came out of it. This, these are bow, these are called bow ties. These little bow ties. This is from the 2008 bow tie pocket. Um, yes, 2008, pretty sure. And not something you see every day. This is some crazy shit. Emily wants to buy it. Everybody wants to buy it. It's not a cheap rock. It's an expensive rock, but it's worth every penny. Uh, so I guess I'll put it away. Emily, if you really, really, really have to have it, I can tell you a price. But like I said, you're not going to be happy with the price because it's a lot. <laughs> but the opportunity to buy something like this does not happen very often. You're going to have to count your pennies and save up or something like that. So we will let it, we will let it simmer and sit here for a very, very, for those of you just joining us, like, oh my God, we will talk later. Yes, it's a billion, one billion something. Emily is being all secret. Eh? Let's talk later. No, we talk now in public. Tell us all of your secrets. <laughs> Just kidding. No secrets here. You have to put your uh, put your uh, on your sleeve. Something like this. Oh, Daniel just joined us here. We got to show you this, Daniel. We're playing show and tell now. Here, this is to blow your face off, in with the most love you could imagine. This is the Ahoites, amazing shit. Yes, it is good. Oh, what happened there? Okay, dog. Okay, dog. There we are. We are finished blowing our brains. Now we will go to the more, uh, of, more affordable rock. I don't know if you saw it last time. We showed this at like two thirty in the morning. Like when was that? Two weeks ago. I'm debating whether I should sell it. Emily wants to buy it. I guess I'll buy it. I told her it's close to five figures. It's no fucking joke. But. Might as well, Aaron Fiola's here. We might as well wait and show her to wait. People come in and be like, holy shit, man, what are you doing? Why are you doing that to me? You're breaking my face. My face is stuck. My jaw's open. I don't know what to do. I'm going to get locked jaw. And this is all complete. All this bottom side here. This is all crystals. Look, there's a crystal face. It's all specular hematite on that. All crystals, crystals, crystals everywhere. Crystals everywhere. It is very, very, very... Oh my God, so good. This is the very best piece I have right now for sale. I guess it's for sale. Emily, look, you made me sell it. No, not yet. We can talk. 
My face just broke. Yes, yes, yes. You got to get some uh, some grease up in your 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 in your jaw so it can move again. <laughs> I explained earlier that you could not see any of the blue whatsoever when I got this piece. The only blue I could see was this tiny little bit like that. This was all coated in crust. So this was a winner. Winner, winner. Oh man. Oh, another thing you probably don't know about Ahoy. But look at this. So from the inside out, Ahoyite is chatoyant on the inside. So when you cut cabochons, we cut it from the inside out so that that's the top because it's more chatoyant facing inside than it is on the outside, which is something you don't know and learn every day. Yes, the, the Papa material is also going to be like a fuck, Rusty. What are you doing, man? You're killing me. You're going to literally like, you're just going to send me your rent every or your mortgage every month. You're, just not, you're not going to be able to pay your mortgage because there's going to be so many good crystals. I don't want to get ahead of myself because I haven't done the deal yet, but I've got enough information to make me feel like it's definitely going to be the right thing. And it's a very nice collection. Someone who had been collecting for 30 years of only Messina material. So it's going to be crazy. Yes, it's, we're going to have a big push here. Your ears are ringing. Not doing well. What do you mean you're not though? You're mine. First your face and now your mind. <laughs> yes, yes. Nana Mineral Hub, you left the show before we before we showed the, the, the Moldavita carving. You said, show me, show me, and then you left. What happened? You don't want to watch Rusty for three hours and wait? <laughs> Nana Mineral Hub, it's okay, but uh, we we showed the we showed the good one. Nana, if you want to see the other two carvings, there's still Moldavite carvings here. This one's available. This is almost almost five figure piece, close to five figures. I don't know, maybe you were there, but we showed these uh, these uh, Moldavite uh, carvings was in there too, in the other show. I don't know if you saw them, but there it is again. Hello, this alien. Like this, this one is the 500. 500, so very good. Okay, Diana, look at these. Let's show you these again. Diana, are you still watching us? Okay, you saw them just now. What do you mean just now? Like just now? Nana, oh, uh, not Nana. Uh, Diana, this is from Raleigh. These oh, these quartzes are uh, chlorite quartz with some mud. This is from Raleigh. These are this site is all underneath an apartment complex now. Uh, these were dug out in like 2015 or 16. Uh, I wrote it all down. This was stuff that we showed in the last show. This is 44 bucks. This was the biggest and probably the nicest one. All the rest of them are 16 to 30 bucks. If you want to see those, I can recap. Uh, let's just let's do a quick recap here. So. There's all of those crystals from Raleigh. They're really nice. Really, really nice. Chlorite. Chlorite from Raleigh. Uh, these are Brandenburger, Brandberg slices with the trapeches going on. Trapeche crystal like this. This one is 90, this one 20. This one is the dancer. It's dancing. Dance the night way. All righty, let's see. How are we going to get started? We got to get you all excited again. We got to push the energy up and out and going. Ready, set, go. Uh, okay, so other stuff. This was all citrine from, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, spirit quartz citrine from South Africa. Uh, this one is a fluorite from Nigeria. This one is so good. Oh my god, this is a crazy rock. It's so clear. Twinning on both sides. It's got this weird corner. This is totally natural and that's just weird. That little beveled edge, like that's special. Super weird growth on the fluorite. Look at this clarity, man. This is like super, super, super. That one's 250. Awesome. Cobolsian calcite, everyone's pink rock that nobody likes. No, I'm just kidding. We sold a shit out of some of these one a couple show a couple weeks, months ago, something like that. Oh, cobolsian calcite, and then we've got uh what you call it? Yes, yes, they take screenshots. I will try to not go too fast. Uh this is a, a perfect double A, triple A grade mala 
of amber. It's calibrated and perfect, no inclusions. That's 400 bucks for that thing there. This one, for all you crazies out there, man, this is a, this is what you call it. This is a pine cone. This is a Cheech and Chong pine cone, man. It's on Christmas tree right there, as I tell you what. And we got some other amber there going on. This one's sixteen dollars each for the little thing here, and this one's twenty-five dollars each going on up there. And Peter Sight, holy shit! Uh, so we have to wear my new pendant. The amber is uh, from Mexico. Happy to wear your new pendant. Uh, oh, the Day of the Dead one. Oh man, I should have kept that. <laughs> No, it's okay. I can actually just have another one made. My buddy has an, has an amber factory. I'm really close with him. So that was really cool. I didn't think about that at the Day of the Dead, but I have too many rocks. I can't fucking keep rocks. I've got rocks coming out my nose. It's kind of ridiculous. And Nicole keeps more than I do. She's like, oh, that one's mine. It's like, what are you doing? Uh, the pine cone is 240. Obviously. It's a very good pine cone. <laughs> 1855 is, oh, this is a Buddha. Uh, Buddha's in smoky quartz in sterling. Uh, this was, this is a hundred. It's very similar to the ones I did with the rainbows, but these didn't have rainbows. So that one's a hundred. This one is 90. And this one is a hundred. This one's not a pendant. Peter site's all really good. If you want me to show those individually, uh, let's see. So I showed this amber top. This one, 60 bucks. It's a pendant. Those are 16. This one's 75. Oh, these lights are right in my face. I can't see. Pendant, left corner with the hole. Yep, I did that one. Five, four, 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 sixty dollars. That's a pendant. Put a cord through that. Uh, is that a claim, darling? Or is that just a what is it? Five, four, four, four. Okay, duck. Okay, duck. What is next? We have the man, Dioptase. This is a fucking good lot of Dioptase. Can't believe you guys didn't buy them all. All. No, these are really good. Really good and very fairly priced. According to the other sellers in here, they're like, damn man, why are they so cheap? Because they're good, very, very good. This one looks $70, this. $70, this, this, this. And let's see what's next. Mangoes. We got the Mango Christer. Fifty on that. This one's my favorite. That's probably the best one in my group. That one's two fifty. Uh, this one's really nice. Also very nice. Mango Chris uh, one seventy five on that. I thought it said seventy five. I was like, oh shit, what's going on there? And Messina Courts. Without a white, it's really nice. Pimentite and Epidote. That one's 175. This is a big old floater, big floating crystal <laughs> with the uh, Pimentite and Epidote. This is from Rusty's pocket. I got into a pocket myself digging in 2010, and it was all Epidote and Pimentite. Not a lot of blue. That one's 240. This one has no blue, but that pocket was like that. And this one, little specular hematite. Very good. Okay, Doc. The recap is finished. And now we will blow your mind again. Zachary needs to see this one. Everybody is so crazy for this piece. Bowtie are white. Like, holy shnikes, man. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? All right, let's put this down and show you some more stuff. Okie doke. Okie doke. Let's see. Emily, pay attention. Ha <laughs> ha. 
So this, not a lot of color, but it's got both colors. Look, papago white and aho white, papago white, aho white, papago white, limonite, pimentite, hematite. Little twinning thing going on at the top that's not damaged. So, Papagoite and Ahoite together in the same stone, it is a very good size. I don't have this on praised, but I can praise it. Uh, this one, I'm gonna need 700 on that one. Like how close to 10K? Um, I was thinking 8888 for this one. KJ. 8888. Like this. Think about it. It's not every day that you get an opportunity to even see something that good let alone buy it. I will guess I'll let it go. I'll cry, but I will let it go. Okay, duck, okay, duck. What is happening here? Okie doke, okie doke. What is next? Okay, somebody was asking, let's see, who was it? Willow, did he come back? I don't know. So, Gobi Agates. These are some crazy, weird, super odd, unbelievably strange agates from the Gobi Desert in China. These, you have to dig for them. They're not surface agates. But look at that. That's like a crater on the moon or something. I saw these for the first time in Beijing and I was like, you've got to be kidding. These are so cool. Very strange material. Very strange material. Look at this. Look at this. If you love them, we can show you a bunch of them. Not a bunch. I've got... Uh, there's only four of them. If you don't love them, we can move on to something else. These one, that one's 300. Look at look at Deanna. Deanna. All right, here we go. Look, there's another one. This one's like a, this one looks like an organ or something. Like some kind of organ. Yes, Aaron Fiola. These are so weird. The smallest one. Uh, this one that I have in my hand is the smallest one. I had a few smaller ones, but Tina Cooper Ryder snatched them up like a month ago. That's what they look like before they get to the surface. No, the surface ones, I can't, I don't know how they form, but the surface ones stay on the surface. These actually grew underground and they had to dig to get to them. Uh, all the little ones that you're used to seeing, those are all found on the surface and they're, they've exhausted the surface. There isn't any more to find, so they had to start digging. Yes, it looks like seaweed all over it. And it's super weird. It's totally oceanic looking. Look at this strangeness. Yeah, super weird. So just weird. What a cool agate. Like no other agate I've ever seen. Like a deformed foot. Yes, it's like a foot that's got its finger, its little toe chopped off. <laughs> a dried dog turd buried in a pile of mulch leaves. You have a very creative imagination, Deanna. That's great. It's probably because you just gave everyone their meds. You probably took some yourself. No, just kidding. <laughs> That's good. I like that. A dry dog turd, deformed foot in a mulch pile of leaves. Very trippy. Yes, yeah, so I just combined all of your comments all at once. Look, there's the heel. It really is like a foot. I got to tell you, when I first bought these, I had one that was like the perfect penis you've ever seen. It was like the most penisy rock ever. 
And one of my friends bought it in like five seconds. He was like, oh my God, that's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ha ha ha. Oh, that was not meant. But that's good. Anyway, so there's a broken foot. That's the smallest one. Sorry, I'm just talking away. That's 250. Aaron Fiola. That's the smallest one that I've got of these and the least expensive. The other ones that I had, the, the cheapest one was like 200 anyways, or 180 or something like that. So look at this one. Here's another one. These are crazy. It's so crazy. Oh, yes, you got the turtle. Oh, Hain Moss got the turtle. Yes, Hain Moss got the turtle, and uh, Tina Cooper Ryder got two or three of them, actually. She fell in love with them. It's a foot, yes. Not this one. The other one is definitely a foot. Dried baby alien foot. Got your fire in there. This is their foot. Yes, yes, yes. So you can probably bring something really strange back to life if you just, like, you know, conjure something with that foot. Natalie Catley, hello, a foot with gout. Yes, that's definitely a zombie foot without, it's missing a couple of digits there. It's got maybe two, two, thing, two, two little fingers, toes cut off. Look, dog, this one is here. There is, look, this is crazy, crazy, crazy. What is going on in this little pocket here? Hello, Spirit Moon, how are you? How are you do? Yes, this is so weird and strange. Look, this is like, look at that. Looks like a face, like a, a mouth with teeth, two eyeballs. It's like Cookie Monster, but he's uh, like a zombie. This is very much like zombie rocks. Man, I need to get more of these. I'm going to try to get some more little ones because these are really cool. It's been a while. I haven't bought any of these in a couple of years. I only bought one parcel, but they weren't cheap. I wasn't sure how they would do. So maybe if I can find some small ones. See what I can do. Let's see what I can do. Yay. I buy it for you. Okay, Doc. This one we are showing you and then moving. This is Gobi Agates from Under the Surface. They're not surface agates like the little ones. They dig. And these are the ugliest rocks when they come out of the ground. You literally be like, what the hell? Sliced open would not be good. This is what it looks like. You, it, it's only on the surface. This, uh, the middle is just crapola. So it's only on the surface. If you sliced it open, you wouldn't get anything out of it. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. I don't remember. But I'll try to get some more for you. 365 on that one. I'll try to find some smaller ones. Yes, when I saw these, I was like, you've got to be kidding. And man, the like, even this size, they had perfect ones they wanted thousands of dollars for. Like, the craziest shit you've ever seen. Like, you wouldn't, like what the fuck man like what's going on with this okay this one's an organ uh diana what organ is this is this a heart it looks like a heart how you make big rock fit in wee bag uh i don't understand i don't understand <laughs> what kind of uh what kind of is this a yes yes not a million but i just gave a price of eight 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 thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars. We will do it. Hain Moss is probably going to buy it, so Emily can't buy it. Emily disappeared. She's not here anymore. She took off. <laughs> Maybe she's here. I don't know. Diana, what organ is this? Oh, you already said something. No. Yes, it's very good. This is so weird. What a weird thing. Weed bag or wee bag? Yes, yes, in your weed bag. <laughs> oh, Emily's here. Emily, I stated a price. Oh, my God. Look at this. I never did that with this one. What is going on? Holy shit. The whole middle of that's carnelian. <laughs> that's so cool. And transparent, too. Or translucent. One of the two. Wow. I didn't even know that that could happen. That's really cool. I really... I'm, I'm inspired now. I want to get some more of these if I can find some little ones. But I'm telling you, man, thyroid, that's a big thyroid. <laughs> it's the other foot with one toe. Yes, that's right. Here, look, let's put them next to each other. Yes, this person had a little bit of a foot problem. Yes, also looked like ankle. Oh, it looks like a, no, it looks like a, like an alligator mouth or something. Look at that, it's got an eye, it's like a garfish. Uh, uh, uh. This one, 
Aaron Fiola. Good night, Hopes Rain. Yes, Natalie Catley, it was like an alligator. Hopes Rain just couldn't, uh, just, uh, not Hopes Rain. Uh, Aaron Fiola confirmed for me that one. I'm pretty sure that's it. You, you got it. You don't have to fight for it. But 3020. Good night, Hopes Rain. We'll see you later. Aaron Fiola, let me know for sure on that one. I'll write it down for you. I'm by myself now, so of course I have to be slow because Nicole is not here to write all my shit. Okie doke. All right, Aaron, I got you on that. They needed a podiatrist and they died instead. Emily, was that you saying goodnight to Hope's Rain or are you leaving? Okie doke. This one here. This one. Did you guys see this one? Look at this. It's got the, both the blue and the yellow and the blue. This is a very good ahoyt with both colors. That This rock has got Alice's name on it. I know it is. Alice, are you still here? I don't know. You're just the first name that came to mind. It's like, we missed you in the first half of the live. I hope you were there to at least laugh at us a little bit. We had a good time. I'm not leaving. Yes, you. I'm keeping you up all night. All the way till sunrise. Oh, look, that's fucking... Oh, my God. That's a complete on the bottom. I didn't even notice that. So this one's 700. 700. It's got all the blue in it, man. It's some crazy shit. That's natural. That ain't no break or nothing. There's some blue and some blue and some yellow and some red and some self-healing going on. Shoot. That right there. I tell you what. Tell you what. All right. Let's see. Oh, here's another Messina crystal. This one... Uh, yes, the J, it's from, the type locality of where it's from is Ajo White, from Ajo, Arizona, A-J-O, so that's why it's a J with a, like an H, because it's Spanish, even though this material is found in South Africa. Type locality means where they originally found the mineral, like from the first location they found it and identified it, so they usually name minerals after where it's found or who it's found from, so Ajo White, like Ajo meaning garlic, um, so the difference between right, there was somebody else that asked. Can you explain ahoite versus papagoite? So ahoite, uh, they're both copper silicates. Ahoite is, has is a is an a uh, let me see a copper aluminum silicate with potassium, and the potassium it makes all the difference with ahoite. It's what separates it from chrysocolla and from other stuff. The darker blue. Honestly, the like Ahoite, Papagoite, Shatakite, Chrysocolla, all of those copper silicates are all very, very similar in chemistry. Um, the Ahoite has potassium, and that is what makes it totally different. Papagoite and Shatakite are really only like one or two oxygen molecules away from each other, so they're actually really close, but Papagoite is more rare. It only comes... Uh, oh, I would say I wouldn't say only, but it mainly comes from the Messina area, and it doesn't. I guess they found it in Arizona as well, from the Papago Indians is where that was named from. It wasn't the name of the place. Um, Helalite is also in that in that spectrum of copper silicates. Uh, so they're all really, really just very minute differences chemistry wise, and it makes all the difference. And the Ahoite has mainly got the potassium. I think this has a little dot of Ahoy right there, a little dot. So this is a hematite, specular hematite included Messina quartz. I feel like there's an Aho, a little bit of Ahoy or Papagoite in it. I can't see it right now. Maybe there's a tiny little bit right there. Anyways, that one is 150, and I'm going to put it with the other Messina crystals. Let's see. What else can I show you tonight? This one, this is a really good rock. This is my favorite, my favorite mineral called fuchsite. It's fuchsite, 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 fuchsite. It's from Madagascar. It's an nice little cluster with green phantoms. Not very easy to get clusters of this. There's some good ones out there, but it's they're just still not easy to get, and they're not cheap. That one there is 150. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Uh, let's see, what else can we show you? This is 
a blue spinel crystal cluster from Tanzania. Uh, similar but very green. Aho white is very blue. I know this is saturated Aho white, but very much blue. So purplish blue spinel crystal cluster, Tanzania. It's pretty neat. Uh, let's check it, actually. I don't know. Good call on that. Um, nope, it does not. Right? No, it does not. Mostly the red ones. Yeah, I, I call it fuck sight. Fuck shit. Yeah, it's fuck shit, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> fuck shit up, man. Uh, Spinel here. We can do that one for 275 Big damn crystal, too. It's pretty good. 275. Okay, Doc, let's see. What else to show you? This is Turkish. Turkish, I don't think you want Turkish. Okay, Doc, this. Hot off the dop, hot off the presses, means it just got cut. Turkeys, yes, huh? Uh, actually, the four pieces that were in that box were Verisite, which is very similar and related to turquoise. I'll, I'll take them out. They're really nice nuggets. Zircon, yes, I know a little bit about Zircon. So this is fibrous sugilite. I would think that that would be self-explanatory, but nothing really is self-explanatory when there's a variety of experience out there. So this is a pretty decent one that was just cut not too long ago. Uh, this one can be 150 for fibrous sugilite. Uh, this... Yes, that's fibrous sugilite. And now here, this is this is the this is the brain fucker. So this is a doublet of ahoite in quartz with a sugilite backing. I have shown these before. Look at that. There's only like a dozen of these in existence. Less, there's probably I don't know eight or ten of them that exist. It's not an easy thing to accomplish because ahoite has to be really clear. It has to be a nice spray, and you got to get this amazing. Uh, backing of gel sugilite. Do I have any what in jewelry? Sugilite? I do have I do have some sugilite jewelry. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> what kind of a typo is that? Autocorrect. Sexy? Come on, sexy. Let's go. It's like your dog. <laughs> this is a crazy special thing. Shirley just got here. Shirley bought one of these from me. Shirley works for me. She's the one doing all of the posting on my Instagram page and all of our amazing writing and this, this, this. She bought one that was awesome, amazing, and I'm sure she's loving it. It's like, you're not gonna find this very often. Like, geez, man, Ahoy and Sujalite in the same piece. It's like a match made in heaven. That's 300. That's super special, like just absolutely ridiculous shit. Um, and let's see. Okay, here, this is another one. This is new. This is new. Pretty badass. Um, pretty sure it's gold filled wire or copper or something. This is Ahoite. I just got this one, and there's a rutilated quartz up at the top. Not a bad piece. Look at that. Look at the gold. Look at this. Look at this there. And look at this. Oh my God. This is so pretty. Uh, this one. Do... That one is 600. All right, now we got to do some more panty dropping. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have some Sujalite jewelry. I have pendants. This is gem silica, which is ridiculous. Yes, Egyptian, I like that. You talking about this? Yeah, it does kind of have an Egyptian vibe. It looks like Tut, King Tut. So gem silica, oh my God, this is crazy rock. Holy Christmas, you got to be kidding me. This is a great rock. It's not every day you come across this kind of stuff. Holy holy christmas what has happened here this is good oh look at this little creature oh my god i didn't even notice that i just bought this last week or two weeks ago look at this thing what is that that's like a little uh, what is that that's like the an abominable snowman who's taking a bong hit or something <laughs> what is it what's going on there that's wild wild shit Malachite, Chrysocola. That's super cool. I didn't even notice that when I bought it. Kodama. Kodama. What's a Kodama? He's sledding. Yes. Yes. Or skiing. Come on, phone. Quit b bouncing around. Yeah, he's skiing. Look, there's his skis right there. If I can get my hand in there. Look at the banding. Yeah, I was looking at this here. This That's what I was zooming in on. This banding here. This little banding here. This is some cool shit. Gem silica is some of my favorite. Forest spirit. Yeah, there you go. Gem silica. Man, I have a, I have a confession to make. I have a copper silicate problem. It's kind of an addiction. And there's no cure. So I warn you, if you come hang out with Frosty and throwing stones too much, you will develop a very bad habit called a copper silicate junkie, aficio, aficionado, aficionado. Anyways, if you love that, we can do it. This one, this one is like, this one's like 450. This is a fucking good rock. That's a good rock. Oh my God, look at how good it is. Yeah. Okay, Doc, what else is there? There's some smaller gem silicas. I have to find some more rocks to show you. These are all very, very nice too. Like this. Copper silicates are my weakness. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this. Holy shit, man. Uh, these are going to range from like 150 to 250. Silly, silly silica. It's gem silica. Okay, doc. There we are finished. What else can I show you? I need to find some more, some more something. What do you want to see? I am taking request, but not something crazy. But uh, we will try. I'm running out of space, but it's okay. We could do a flash sale moldavite for those of you who want moldavite. We might not do that first if there's some other requests, but. We could definitely do some blowout Moldavite prices like we did before. We've always done that and it's done well. Um, it's getting light, so Elmwood Calcite and Flora in general. Lately I enjoy the green crack. Oh, yes, we could do green crack if you want. I could do some discounts on all of this stuff here. I've got a bunch of it, as usual. I don't have any zircon. It's not something that I've... Uh, I have some on my website, or there's some like stock photo stuff on the website, but it's not very exciting. Uh, okay, let's see. What, what else am I going to show you here? There's plenty of rocks, but I don't know. Uh, let's try this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Um, Caitlin, you were the one who wanted this ring. I haven't shown it in forever. I'm kind of waiting for you, but I'm not, you know, I'm not, it's not a big deal if you don't want it. If you need it later, that's fine. Caitlin, if you're still here, this was something that you were interested in. This is the pink Sujalite. I believe it was you, right? I think it was you. I could be wrong. My memory's not so great. That one there is 280 pink Sujalite in gold. Uh, let's see, what about this? High Vibe Bear is saying Moldavite. This is Ahoite. Oh my God. Look at this crazy shit. Holy Christmas. 
Okay, no rush, Caitlin, no rush. I did just show it again, so if somebody buys it, then sorry, but I, you know, I put it back so nobody could see it. <laughs> this is crazy, crazy saturated Ahoite, like, holy shit, Ahoite saturation. Like, whoa, man, what's going on? Wow. Uh, here's a nice little guy. Little Polish Aho White with a little phantom. This one's so cute. It's a little piece for jewelry. You can put it in a ring or you can put it in a pendant or you can put it in your pocket or you can do whatever you want. Crush it up and snort it if you want. I don't care, but don't tell anybody I told you to do it. This one we will do for 200. Love the pendant setting. Yes, the pendant setting. Any more rings lying around? Uh, what kind of rings? I've got rings. That one was a Sue July. Sort of half saving that for Caitlin, but I'm not sure if she's going to commit, which is fine. No worries. I want a Suge too. All right, let's see. Let me let me see if I can find my Sue July jewelry. Should be somewhat close by. Give me a second. Ah, yes, that was quick. Not. Not a shitload of it, but there's some Sujolite. All right, so Sujolite jewelry uh, mixed in with Charolite, so I've got to make sure I don't screw it up. Okay, look. Here, this is in silver. Very nice quality. I don't have Sujolite rings. I only have pendants. Rings are a fucking pain in the ass because everybody's got a different size and it literally makes my it makes my head hurt because it's like, oh, I love that piece and I love the style, but can you make it a different size? It's like, fuck, no. I, I don't do a lot of rings because of that issue because it's annoying. And I hate it because people love rings, but it's just like you literally have to have 10 times the amount of rings in order to serve everybody and it just doesn't make sense. Okay, so that, if you want... I can do Sujolite pendants if you want to see. I can't do rings. I won't spend a ton of time on that. If you're not interested in pendants, I definitely need to cater to other people as well. So if you see something, um, green crack rings, I do have plenty of them, actually. Um, this is in solid gold. Sujolite. So that one's solid gold. That one's 180. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, but I, I don't do a lot of rings because of that issue. Just because everybody can wear a pendant. But I, I mean, I hear you. Rings are, like, popular, so it's like, ah. Green cock ring. Oh, God. Ha, <laughs> ha. Ah, that's a first. <laughs> Deanna, what are you thinking? Where's your brain? Green cock ring. Oh, my God. That's crazy. You're going to get us all all worked up and shit. Okay, look. Spirit Moon, I'm going to show you a few more, and then I'm going to move on to something else here. That one was 60. This one is 55. 55. Yeah, it's only 180, and it's solid. This is way too cheap for what it is. It's eight, uh, 14 karat gold, 180 bucks. Like, huh? That's definitely underpriced. Mm, all right, we're running out. Let's see, so July pendants. Here's one for 45. It's 45. Okay, what else does everyone want to see? Somebody said some green crack rings. Um, I'll, make, I'll see if I can make that easy. Uh, green crack rings. The problem with rings is the sizing, especially during a live show. Also, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, so, you know, I don't want to do rings, Natalie. I'll show this briefly, but like this, the rings part takes way too long on the live. So Natalie, if you want a ring, um, just tell me your size with a direct message and we can work it out. This is not the only one that I have. 
Uh, the sizes are, um, this might be like seven and a half or eight and a half, so it's not exactly that, but this is one type. Just so you know, for future reference, take a screenshot if you want, and uh, we can talk about that later. It's just easier. On the live show, doing rings is such a bitch, especially when I don't have them labeled as what size they are. That's the biggest problem. Okay, look. What else? Green crack pendants. We could do some big discounts on Moldavite pendants if we want. I didn't have to do it. I can message you. Website may take more day, but I want to wait and see if anything else calls first. Got you, Spirit Moon. What else are you looking at or interested in? I do have a couple more pendants. That's the only one in gold. Uh, everything else is in silver. All right. So let's, you guys. Are enough of you interested in Moldavite? A couple of you. I've got pendants in Moldavite, and there's some raw, and that's probably it. Pendants and raw. Little pieces, big pieces. Hi. What's doing? Okay. Uh, Aaron Fiola Turquoise. This was what was in front of me. Good night. Uh, this is Verisite, which is basically like turquoise it's like a green turquoise um so if this is something that interests you aaron this is a really this is from an old old mine that only produced a little bit in the 1980s from the verdi web mine in nevada this is a complete nugget it's pretty cool uh, this one came out of a collection that i bought in japan that one's 300 uh, there's this one. Okay, Spirit Moon, I see you on that. Let me write that down. Aaron, if these are not what you are interested in, I can. Sh I do have a whole flat of turquoise. That the only problem is, is I haven't priced it yet. I almost priced it for today. I'm okay with those. Just leave it there. It's fine. Um, there's a piece that will cut some nice cabs. That one is 125. So, Spirit Moon, I need to write your stuff down. Spirit Moon, what E L O six three O. All right, we got you going. Got you started. All right. Uh. Aaron, here's the last one of those. Like I said, I do have some smaller ones, but they're not priced, which is kind of annoying um, for me to figure that out. I don't know if I should really do those on the fly. Uh, I could probably, but it's better. Instead of going one by one, I can show you the whole flat, and you can, if you see one that you like, maybe we can do it that way. So this is really neat. It's kind of like a mushroom. This is like a weird kind of nugget. Big old verisite nugget. That one's 300. <clears throat> uh, this is the one random piece. No, Aaron, we can do that now. I'll show you the flat, and then if you see one that you like, we can do it. Uh, this is the one random piece in this flat. I figured I would just show it because it's the only one. This is a Zimbabwe crystal. I'm going to make this cheap. Nice scepter. Uh, complete on the top there. This one... It's Mark 200. It's a really nice big scepter. We'll do this one for 120. Uh, white, gold, or yellow? Uh, this is that's yellow gold. All right. Anyways, 120 on the amethyst scepter. That's a pretty darn good deal for a big giant scepter like that. All right. That flat is finished. I'm move this out of the way. Um, Aaron, let's take a look at this. All right, so. So the, this group here these are from Australia, these, this row. This group here is the same Verity Web as the other ones that I just showed you. These are just smaller ones, these are Verisite. Uh, these are from 
Arizona. Now this is from Morency, Arizona, right there. This is from a mine called Blue Diamond. Those. This is from Red Mountain. These are all different turquoise mines. If you know anything about turquoise, it means something. If you don't, then it might not mean anything. And these are all mixed, mixed Nevada locations. So, Aaron, if you see something in here that you think you might like, I can whip out a price for you. Uh, let's do row, uh, what is it, rows and columns. Take a screenshot or something. We can also revisit it later, but I'm happy to, like, price out a piece or two if you want to see it now. Let's see, what else? Who else? What else? Uh, we got the Spirit Clan Pendant or two. Deanna, you were talking about Moldavite, right? Okay. All right. So, Aaron, hopefully you got a screenshot of that. I'm going to move that here. Top, okay, sorry. Top row two. Top row two from the left. So, this is... This is Australian. Nice little webbing pattern there. And uh, 30 bucks on that. Second row from the bottom all the way to the right. That's this one. And that one, we're going to do 35 on that one. So 30 and 35. Australian. And this is Red Mountain, which I believe is either Arizona or Nevada. It's definitely American. So if you see anything else that you might want, to pull it out. Otherwise, I'll pull these aside for you while you make a decision. And on. Uh, let's do this. Actually, this was available. This is yes, please to both. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you this. I gotta write this down. Thanks, Aaron. Aaron Fiola. Two turquoise. Thirty. Thirty-five. Sixty-five. All right. Here's a bunch of pendants that I had available that were supposed to be shown, but we ran out of time. Um, so, let's see here. Really amazing quality Peter site, like super, super, super good. So, Deanna, you said pendants. I know you were, might have been talking about Moldavite. I'm just going to go through this. We got Peter's site. There is one Sujalite there. This is some crazy Tiffany stone. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. That's a crazy piece. That one's 111. Tiffany stone there. Tiffany stone. Tiffany stone. Uh, these are Super 7s. Cool. I'm showing them to you, Deanna. And everybody else. Lots of stuff in that one. This one's kind of got this weird... Fuck! F-A-Q, man. Fuck, F-A-Q. Look at this one. Yeah, the Super 7s are really, these are really good. That one is 244. Uh, which one? I'm going too fast. So that one I didn't show yet. This is crazy good. 175, 244. This one with the little ball in it is 111. This one is 100. Yeah, the Super 7s are pricey. And, you know, pendants in general, it's hard for me to sell pendant for less than 70 bucks just because, I mean, unless it's a cheap stone, but I... Uh, no, these are all Indian. Those are Indian. Uh, we got Rhodochrosite. Uh, 
Hematite Disco Fire. This one is another Super 7. Oh, this one. Oh my god. What's going on with this? Super weird. Blood splattered. Yes. It is blood splattered. This is really nice. Chair white. Mm, triple roto. Roto. Really nice roto. Uh, this is pretty cool if you've never seen this. Bought a lot of rough. What kind of rough are you getting into? You cutting it? What are you doing buying rough? I'm very interested. Very much interest. So check this out. This is called Spurite. Some weird rock out of Mexico. I've shown these before. They're like just super weird translucent. Look at this. It's almost like Sujolite, but it's not. I wish it was. All good, Deanna. Just showing these. Let's finish this box. This is Richterite. Oh, these are Covalite. This is super cool. Solid Covalite, not in quartz. Super nice. All right. Pendants are going bye-bye. Going bye-bye. Oh, we never got to these. There was some it's a really nice opal. Look at this. This is an opal clamshell. Uh, yes, Richterite. Cutting, what are you cutting? Investing in limited supply of wood. What rock? I'm curious. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I'm just curious. Richterite is here. That one's 62. This one's 77. This is big, big size. Even bigger. This one is 90. There's the three Richterites. I do have more of those somewhere. Okay, this box is a box that did not get shown, that is supposed to get shown. Actually, I might save this box for next week, but I will show you this. This is a crazy Australian opal uh, clamshell. It's really nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this box for next week because that's all new stock. I don't want to blow it out. don't want to show you everything all at once. Uh, let's see, here's another one of these Amazing Ahoites. Peter Stein, Peter Stein, Negative Mexico. Nice. Awesome. Did you get like a bunch of, like many, many kilos or just like a couple pieces to cut yourself? Are you going to cut them? Are you going to have somebody else cut them? Sorry, I'm being nosy. I'm just curious. I don't, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> just trying to be nosy. Here's a Super 7 that's not polished, right? Yeah, this is Super 7 Crystal that didn't get polished because it didn't need to be polished, which is kind of rare for this location. Most of it gets polished. Uh, that one was 100 bucks. This thing, oh my God, this is another doublet. Ahoite and Pink Sujolite. There's only two of these in existence with the Pink Sujolite and the other one I kept because it's amazing and so is this one, but the other one looks kind of like my logo. So it's a doublet, pink sujolite and ahoite. Not something you're going to see, I would say every day, but it's almost not something you're going to see ever. It's just not very common. There's only like a dozen of them in existence, but only two with the pink. Because who's crazy enough to, sac to sacrifice a piece of pink sujolite to make something crazy? I am, yay. Okay, what's next? Shark's Tooth, 40 bucks. Uh, here's a nice Japan Law Twin from Zambia, like a super good one. Emily. Emily. Yes, serious hobby. That's good. So you're cutting stone. Amazing. Love it, Diana. That's great. Okay, Doc, what is next? We got more Super 7. There is Super 7 there. Super 7. Here's a Super 7 pendant that's only 45. 
It's got more like black roots heel in it. Uh, here's a really nice tourmaline. It's teal tourmaline from Namibia. 80 bucks on that. Look at this gem silica. Holy shnikes. Forty three twenty one is a tourmaline tumble. It's like a blue, bluish pink watermelon tourmaline. That one's twenty four. Juicy Jam, yes, that is my new name. Juicy Jam, that's a good name for a business. Juicy Jam. That's what I'm gonna name my juice shop. I'm gonna have a juice a juice shop. It's gonna be Juicy Jam. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not gonna run a juice shop. All right, Diana, forty-three twenty-one. I've got you on that. Diana. All right. Oh, forty-three two four three two one. Yay, twenty-four. All right. Next. What else do we want to see? Oh, all right, check this out. Tumbled blue topaz from Brazil. Natural, not treated. You can infuse the drinks with rocks. Yes, yes. Look at the look at the rainbows going on in this piece. This is a tumbled topaz. Blue, not something you see every day. Here's a couple of really big ones. Well, big-ish. Yes, very good. Pick a tourmaline. So blue topaz tumble. Nice, big rainbows. Biggest, nicest ones that I had. Oh, when they're treated, they're like really blue. <laughs> Tooth pendants. Oh. Um not close by I think I know I had one but I don't remember if it's sold or not I didn't have a lot of pendants with teeth all right Let me put those away what else Spessor type garnet nice little crystal from Tanzania Tanzania it's a little floater a little twin crystal actually two crystals kind of forging together very nice can do we'll do thirty dollars on that one. Thirty dollars that one. Thirty dollar. And this we make it to forty-five. Very nice. Okay duck. Diana forty-three fifty-three. Alright, we got you on that one. Let me make sure I change the price. It says thirty. Oh, four, three, five, three, thirty. That's a good claim. That's a good rock for thirty bucks. Holy Christmas, what are we doing next? Okay, this flat, uh, what about this? We have uh, opal, opal doublet. It's Australian. It's 50 bucks. We can make it 40 bucks for Australian. Double it. Beautiful little opal. Um, all right, that box. And uh, what about this? I don't know if you like this kind of stuff. That is a Nigerian rubellite tourmaline. The original price was 200. We had it 125. We're going to make it 100. I got I see you on that one Diana for 40 so 100 bucks on this it's a rubellite would you sell me a necklace to match if I claim a pendant uh Palomaru what stone are you talking about like you just mean like a like a silver chain okay Alice I see you but let me I've got to go slow here let me get this one before it gets out of hand so Deanna Opals, 
All right. So, Palomaru, let me know more information. A necklace to match if I claim a pendant of what? I don't know if I can help you with that. Uh, I do have chains, silver, but not gold. Alice, let me see. Where, Alice, where? What are we looking at, Alice? Tell me what the stones are. Oh, you got it. You got all. Let's see. Six. Never mind. I found it. 16, 18. So Alice was two, two blue topazes. And what's 4350? Um, oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. Hold on a second, everybody. I've got to write this all down. Thank you, Alice. Simply Mealy. Ha ha ha. Simply Mealy. L43. 16, 43, 18, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, when you check out all of my uh, orders go through my website you can go to the website and pick anything else you want to add to it uh, I don't know what I have in stock but I know I have at least usually three or four styles of silver chains and a couple different lengths yeah that was a good flat huh uh, gold chains I can pro I can get you a gold chain uh, it's not that hard yeah garnet on the table okay so we got all that I'm caught up uh, what's next? What about this for 60? Really nice teal tourmaline. Namibian 2014. Uh, 60 bucks on that one. Yeah, this box just happened to be on the table, so we lucked out. Luck of the draw. Oh, this little guy. What about this? Yeah, so I do have chains. I, I can't show them in the live show, but they're all really easy to find on my website. Uh, so this is Ahoite and Papagoite together. And it's got a little halo, like it was a circle of each. It was like a, an arch of Papagoite and an arch of Ahoite. And then a little, you, you could see hematite phantom going on. Look at that. Holy shnikes, that's a piece. Man, that's a good fucking cab right there. That one, that's... That's really a fair price too. Two thirty for that with both. Shoo! Oh my god. Okay, so we are all caught up. Man, this piece is so crazy. I love this piece. I can't believe I still have this. We'll do this one for one twenty if you love it. If not, I'm happy to keep it because it's so good. Look at this. It's got a druzy pocket. It's got fortification. It looks like a fish. Fortification is the banding. And look at this. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I'm happy to keep that one. But it's there for 120. I'll leave it there in front of you if you want it. If you can't say no to it, go on and take it. Otherwise, I'm happy to keep it. Okay, what's next? Uh, we got this. Stop hitting the camera, Rusty. This is Pyrite in Court. Very nice. Lots of inclusions. This one's like a half dodecahedron, half, uh, what you call it, little thingamabobber. Yes, the Dioptase, I will scan it, and you should take a screenshot. They're all awesome. The quality of the Dioptase is freaking ridiculous. I bought it two weeks ago, and I hand-selected it all, and it was just like, whoa. Hey, 75 for that? Shit. It cost me more to replace that. that no discount on that one. The stuff, man, everything that I bought in, in Donghai a bunch of years ago, it's all more expensive now. I go to try to replace these things that I sell you. And I sell, I've been selling you guys these, not just pirates, but included courses that I bought in China a bunch of years ago when I was there. And I try to replace them and everything has gone up. Like not everything, but like I'm having a really hard time replacing Super 7, Pyrite. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's like everything is more expensive because I guess I got there and before the interest was as big and now everybody wants it and it's like more demand screenshot spirit moon let me get this i think all the prices are sh all the prices and the numbers should be shown so let me try to make it perfect for you there you go screenshot 
or just tell me what you like. It's all super lustrous. It's got killer color. The camera's not going to show it properly. Alice, that was a good move. I see you on that. You you know, when I picked it up, I was like, she's got a bunch of these already. But it doesn't matter because it's pirate. It's so amazing. There's no end to how many good pirates you can have. That's my that's how I feel about them. They're just so good. Uh, so we could keep showing rocks. If you guys are interested, I could show you some pieces in my collection too. We did that a while back and that was really fun. That doesn't help me with making money, but it's also really fun. So we could do that. Let's see what else I can show you first before we do something like that. Uh, let's see what else is in front of me. Oh, this is really cool. Right, this was that flat I wasn't going to show, but yeah, they're all really good. Just give me a price range and I'll show you a few of them. Natalie Catley, you can't be tired. It's not allowed. This is lavender jade, purple jade, purple jade. Forty bucks. Sorry, I saw your comment before, but it slipped. Um, it's not that difficult, depending on the piece. Uh, generally speaking, if it's, as long as it's like a solid piece, then it's, it should be relatively easy to get a hole into the tourmaline. Okay, duck, what is next? Um, any requests we could do? All right, let me show you. There's a bunch under 80. Uh, most of them are under 80. <laughs> Let's see. Under 80. That one there is really good. For s silver, root heel silver freeform. No. So that one there, Spirit Moon is 70. This is 65. This is really nice. This one's 75. Super nice. Like, what? This one is 80. This one's on Matrix. Double terminated crystal. Uh, good coverage. That one's a little bit more good coverage. I would say this one. Nice big crystal there. And again, these look so much better in person because the color just isn't appropriately shown through the camera. So two big crystals on that one. I recommend that one out of all of the selections. I don't know what R means. That's a typo or something. Okay, so what is it? Uh, this is, yes, but not DRC. This is RC, Republic of Congo. Um, so it's not like Tantara mine. It's a different mine. Uh, and this quality is better than the DRC material. It's just ridiculous how good this stuff is. This is a really nice one. I'm kind of surprised that one didn't sell. Let's see if I can zoom in. Hint, hint. Hint, hint, Alice. <laughs> this one's awesome. Dude, seriously, the $90 one, that's just amazing. Because it's got a nice standing crystal in the center of the matrix with good crystals all around it. Like that, honestly, should be $150. Um, Aaron Fiola 5313. This one? Confirm. Aaron, Aaron, let me know because you got a question mark there. So I guess I'm just showing it to you until you do confirm. Any other teal tourmalines? I do have more teal tourmalines. Probably not super well. No, I can probably get them ex make them accessible really quick. Uh, all right, hold on. Teal tourmalines. The big 90. Uh, are you talking about Dioptase? Oh, the big 90. This one. I see you, Aaron. I got you on that. So this one. Oh, shit. Up in there. I'm assuming that's what you mean by the big 90. Double terminated crystal. Really nice. That's the other one that's 90. Okay, Aaron, I gotta write you down.
Okay, I got you on that, Aaron. Uh, maybe it's not 90. I don't know which one. So I got this one. That one's 80. This one's 90. That one at 90. I mean, honestly, that's that one's the best piece of this group, and I think it's underpriced, but you know, it is what it is. That one's really nice. That one. That one. That one. Those are my three picks. Oh, and this one, for sure. Those are the those are the nicest four in that lot. Depending on what you want. Like if you want more coverage, this one, this one, this one. Okay, Deanna 5405. That's a good choice. Okay, Spirit. I showed you that one, the corner 90. I got you, Deanna. I saw that. This one was the corner 90. Yeah, I showed that one. That one's killer. I love it. That one's 5432. I'm going to put the phone down. Write this up for Deanna. to it all right spirit moon i showed you those who was it that asked about teal tourmaline uh high vibe bear here's some other teal tourmalines these are all from namibia from 2014 uh, row one two three column one two three Yep, so there's that one. That's tray number, or whatever, whatever that's called, number one. This is number two. That one's really nice. Yeah, so if you want, if you see one of those you want, I can price it out for you. you gotta put it on the scale and check it out. Uh, let's see, what's, what else? We can do Moldavite still. Um, uh, Deanna, what do you mean on these? This is, this is, uh, there's a range here. Uh, uh this one here is 45. No problem, Spirit Moon. It's 45. What did you say? The 75 ones? Whoa! Hey, take it easy. 75 is this one. Okay. Marisol, I've got you on that. So, Spirit Moon. There's the 75 one. It's got that nice little sidecar. It's all really good. It's got some other mineral on the top. Middle right, this one. What are you saying here, Deanna? You're saying to middle, yeah, the first one. So Marisol, I got you this one for 45. Uh, Deanna, I'm assuming this is the one you said, middle right. Uh, this one is f also 45. I'm, a, I'm assuming, this was on screen, this was on tray number one, no. Did you want this one? All right, so Spirit Moon, are you? did that say you're gone, you're out for the night? Have a good evening, I'm assuming, if that's what that means. Okay, so Deanna, that one, Marisol, this one. Some good clarity to it. Diaptes doesn't have a lot of clarity, to be honest. Like, it just doesn't. I mean, it can when you really backlight it, but it's not very easy, and it's definitely a lot more expensive when they get jemmy. Okay, typed, mistyped, second tray, and also the take the one in your hand. Okay, so, Deanna, that one, I have you for 45. Um, I'm assuming that's right, and you talking about this one? Here's that one. Also really nice. You need to throw your phone across the room. Be like, damn it, phone, what are you doing? Get back in shape. All right, I'm 
catching up. Okay, so Deanna, this one's also, we'll do this one, do this one for, oh, it's a little bit bigger. This one's also 45. Deanna, that's also really nice and jammy. So that, still got a high five there. All caught up, almost. Ah! Oh, that wasn't good. Fuck. God damn it! All right, that sucked. All right, let's see here. What did I miss? So, Deanna, I got you on this. Um, Deanna, did you confirm this one for forty-five? That was this one here. And tray one, row two, first one. Can I see it? High vibe bear. That's. Come on, phone. What the fuck? Hello? So, high vibe bear, that was this one you wanted to see. It's also really nice. And that one is also 45. Good night, Aaron. Thank you. Oh. Okay, duck. All right, Marisol, I got you on that. So, Deanna and Marisol, each one of you, uh, both of you got two tourmalines each at 45 bucks, and I got them perfect. Tray one, bottom right, so here's tray one, bottom right, significantly larger than the other ones, it's got a nice greenish color to it. Also Namibian 2004. So Deanna, this one's a little cheaper by gram, but it weighs a lot more. So let's see. We'll do this one. This one's 70. And that's about 30 or 40% off. Uh, price wasn't the other ones. Make it 60, unless you don't like it. Here, let me show you the ones like from the side. You can kind of see. This one's got like a yellowish core. This one's got a pink cap with a different type of termination. Instead of a flat, it's like a pointed termination. That one's kind of cool. It's different. And then there's these. All right, so yeah, let me do this one too. Here you go, Marisol. That's the one. Hair. No, that was white hair. That's not my hair. That was dog hair. <laughs> uh, the Dioptase is from Congo, but not Democratic Republic of Congo. It's from... Republic of Congo. There's two different countries. It's, uh, Brazzaville is the area. Um, so high vibe bear. This one is 40, and this one. Is that one's 50. Might be from the goatee. No, no, no. The white hairs don't fall out of the goatee. So it's 40 and this is 50. High vibe bear on those two. And anybody else want to see any of those? I think we're about to move on from those. Deanna, did you want... You got all freaked out by the hair. Did you want to see any of the other ones? Or are we good on that? I really like this one. Might be from the goatee. 
What goatee? What are you talking about? I have a full beard now. Goatee doesn't stand out. That's what you think, Rusty. Look at the coloring, the way that the color zones on this one. That's kind of cool. It's got like a whitish section in the front, in the middle, and then it goes to this pinky kind of termination. I really need to sit down and stop moving so much. Okay. All right, Deanna, we're good. Uh, high vibe bear, let me know on these two. This is 40 and 50. Uh, would it be tough to make them independents in what style? You wanna cap it or wire wrap it? I am i can't make pendants for you, but somebody else can. Uh, this one, definitely no problem as a wire wrap. I would, I would wrap it like that. This one, uh, yeah, you could wire wrap either one of those or you could cap this one also. Yes, Chancellor, Lavender Jade. Uh, you want to facet them? Yeah, this is not, I wouldn't call it facet grade unless you're practicing and you don't need it to be perfectly clear. Um, but facet rough is substantially more expensive and I don't have a lot of it. Uh, I do have some dark stuff that's really clear, um, but you know, facet rough is a whole different game. High Vibe Bear, yes, the one on the right is 50. Chancellor, here's the Lavender Jade, which is just silly good, really, really nice. Um, faceting, I could get you some, Deanna, it really depends. Like if you, I, I, I don't mean to be, uh, I guess I'm inquisitive. You're, you're new to faceting, so I would assume you, have you done a bunch of practicing? I don't recommend jumping into like crazy expensive stuff until you have practiced a decent bit. Uh, I have no idea what your experience is, so I'm just letting you know. So, you know, getting stuff that's either not perfectly clear or darker and inexpensive so that you can practice is a really good idea. Um, so high vibe bear, we're no good on that one. I can put those back. Uh, I'll, you can think about it. I'll just leave them there. No big deal. I'm going to move on. Chancellor, I got you on that. Oh, I guess we're going back to it. First trade. All right, Chancellor, I see you. Paolo Maru, first tray, top middle row. Yes, that's a really good one. Paolo Maru, that one's this is for you. That one uh, is 45 for that one. Uh, Deanna, I have... I have to look for, if you want the darker material that's clean, I don't know if doing this wrong. I don't, I have to look for that. I'm not sure if, what exactly I have in that. Chancellor, you, L53, 42. That's not something I can do on the camera right now. All right, Chancellor, I got you on that. I want to trade one of the ones I claim for the 50, so can I see the other ones I claim? Sorry. Oh, no, you're fired. <laughs> uh, Marisol, these are the other two that you have claimed. So these are the two you claimed. Um, these are the two that you were looking at. This is the one that... Uh, Palomaru just looked at also for 45. This one is really good to cap. It's complete all the way around. It's got the nice circular shape. You know, you could put a cap on that one. It's just long enough. I'll take the little tourmaline at the top. Do you mean this one, Deanna? The one that Palomaru just passed on? Is that the one you mean? I'm sorry, none of these are labeled. This is why I like to get all my stuff labeled, so it's easy to be like, number! <laughs> Skirple that purple. All right, Dan, I got you on that one for 45. Uh, yeah, this is why if I can get like a lot more stock, like super ready and prepped like this, in regards to having it all priced and skewed, like we could do special requests like this and just go through tons more stock and just go a couple people at a time. And you guys, that might be a different way to do this. Um, 
always looking for other ways to make it easier for you and to make more sales and to have fun. This way, it's not going to maybe be as crazy as we got tonight with the laughing and shit. So, you know, maybe this is the late night part of the show is where we do special requests slash here's a bunch of stuff that we can go over all at once. Okay, let's see who's left. Who's still here? Uh, that's up to you, High Vibe Bear. Get on it, Rusty. Yeah, like I don't have enough else stuff going on. No, you, I'm about to get into high season in regards to my travel schedule. Uh, I'm going to Africa in a, less than a month. I'm going to New York next week for a day, and I'm going to Denver like the week after that. So there's definitely going to be a big lull, a big live show lull when I go to Africa. Uh, I'm going to be there for like a month. Cool. All right, Marisol, I got some of those two. And these two, uh, 40 and 50. Anybody else? Good to go. Put them back right there. All right, sweet. Super. This is done. Very good. Okay. Any other requests? We could do Moldavite. Who else is here? There's only a few of you left. Can I get this to pull up? Oh, that's so dumb. Anyways, so yeah, there's only a few of you, but we can pretty much do catered, personalized, whatever you want to see. I've got tons of aquamarine crystals. I might have something in aquamarine that's a crystal that could be faceted. Deanna, if you're interested in that, that might not be too hard to find. Uh, but I mean, I have boxes of plenty of aquamarine crystals. You guys would probably have a blast going through that. There's green, the green barrel crystals from Russia. I've got a whole box of those. Um, all right, let me just grab a couple things. I'll be right back, a few seconds. Oh man. <laughs> I got itchy last live. <laughs> All right, we're good on the green crack. There's not many of you here, so. Oh, Sim uh, Alice wants to see collection for sure. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we'll do that. Uh, let me see if I can find something quickly for Deanna. It's facet gray before we move on. Uh, here's one that's pr that one's pretty good. It's not totally flawless, but this is pretty darn clean. Uh, no, green barrel does not equal emerald. Green barrel is without chromium or vanadium, which gives it the darker, deeper color. Like, this is what I mean by green, green barrel. Definitely not an emerald. So everybody's green cracked out. This one's relatively clear, Deanna. You could facet that one. It's not too it's not too bad. The center part does have a little veil though, but you could definitely get a stone out of the top of that. You could get a stone out of the bottom of it too. It might not be perfectly clean, but you could definitely get two stones out of that one. And uh I need like sixty bucks for that. Everyone's green cracked out. Moldavite, Natalie Catali. All right, so yeah, green barrel type stuff. I am gonna get some collection stuff out. Alice, were you here the last time we did the collection stuff? I can't remember who was here. I know Emily and Bill and, oh fuck, I can't remember. Got you on that, Deanna. Um, I can't remember who was there that night because it was just such a whirlwind, but for those of you who weren't here, that was a pretty big treat. Cool, so green barrel. Emily's here. Cool. We're going to do some collection stuff next. If you guys have any interest in these, these are really nice. Good shape. They've got, these are some of my better ones. They've got the lines. There's an aquamarine line. 
I remember you being there, Natalie. Emily was there. There was a few others, but it's hard to remember. Uh, this one's tabular. I don't know if you guys are interested in these, but you can see how there's a couple lines in there. It's pretty cool zoning. A lot of them, these are double terminated. Uh, these are Russian. And I've got a bunch of these in different sizes. I've got bigger ones. I've got smaller ones. You know, there's, this is a nice little, it's a nice little batch. That's a super batch right there. So we don't have to do this. Uh, you know, it's there. We can either, we can do something like this now if you want, or I'm going to go work on the collection. I'll pull some stuff now just to give you an idea. Uh, this is like 110. And then something on the bottom is like, they're like, these range from like probably 985 to 120 or something like that. Uh, Deanna, the top one, there's a termination there, and there's a termination. Is that terminated? Yeah, it looks like it. And come on, camera. It's got a couple zoning lines right in there, the greenish, darker. Actually, it's more like a blue. You can see. Anyways, that one is... Ha, 111. Okay, pass for now. Cool, no worries. Top one might have changed. Yeah, I don't know, whatever, it got all mixed up. Anyways, that's there, you guys. We can always revisit that. Um, I'm gonna leave you looking at it and I'm gonna go get some collection stuff. And put some of this stuff away. All right, be right back. some stuff. Almost done. Okay, look, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've got 12 stones. They are have show and tell. Okay, let's see. All right. Yes, Dana Eubanks was still awake. Uh, okay, number five from the top. Two, three, four, five, this one. Oh, five from the bottom. Two, three, four, five. That one. Uh, that one's a hundred. Palamaru. Dana Eubanks, Green Barrel. Okay, Barrel Me Too. How about to show? About to show some collection stuff. Yeah, so that's a hundred bucks on that one, Palamaru. It's a nice, thick one, good color. I have little ones too, like this. If you want something in the thirty to fifty dollar range too, just so you know, these are these are the nice long ones. I've got even bigger ones, but you know, can't show them all. 
Natalie Catley wait oh let me show you one rock here we'll, get, we'll keep you in we'll keep you in Natalie you are not you cannot go to sleep when I show you this here oh no here you have to wait <laughs> sorry sorry I took too long okay doc here we go let's move this ah she said okay yes I knew that would work <laughs> Okay, Doc. Now we are do show and tell. If you take screenshots, please don't send them anywhere or post them on the internet. This is only rule. Nothing is available for sale. That is also rule. But if there's something that's similar or whatever, then I will let you know. Okay, back to the first rock that I snaked Natalie Catalie to come back in. So this is Rainbow Obsidian from Mexico. And this is not very, uh, it's not very expensive or unusual material, but this happened to be in the hands of the right person and he knows how to cut it. And he cut it at the perfect angle so that he could have like 40 or 50 bands. This is the best one that he ever cut. I bought several of them from him. He's an old timer. He's been cutting for a long time. He's like a super old school guy. He rides his bike to the show, <laughs> literally, in Tucson. He lives in Tucson. And when he comes to his show, he rides his bike. He's a pretty cool dude. He goes out in the desert, kicks hacky sack all the time. Anyway, he's like old school hippie. So he's, cu he's cutting this and it speaks for itself. It's got like 50, 40 or 50 bands or something. It's just stupid. How much I spent on it? No, sorry, dear. That's not that's not an appropriate question. <laughs> not not an appropriate question for anything, really. Uh, sometimes I'll mention something something value, but it's generally not something you ask people about their collections. And that's okay. I'm I'm not offended by you asking, but I'm letting you know. Okay, so next rock. Um, this is Numite from Greenland, and I cut one big, giant, fat, stupid, crazy one for me. And I might be able to reproduce it, but this is the one that I kept. Folks spend on collection rocks typically. I mean, I could give you a general idea. Most of the rocks that I buy for myself are usually between $300 and $3,000 each. Um, generally don't buy stuff more than that, but I can, and a lot of stuff for me, like I'll, I'll, the reason why most of us sell is because we have to get some for ourselves. And so like the gem silica that I'm going to show you, like I bought that in a parcel that I bought like 50 pounds of it, you know? And it's like, I cut some of the nicest pieces out and keep the nice one for myself. Kind of like this. Like I had a, I have a bunch of this material. It's a super, super high quality Numite. And you just don't see this kind anymore, this like level of quality, because it's either it's just gone. They don't find a lot of it and it's you know what does come is generally not this good. I mean this isn't like the craziest, craziest piece, but it's just it's super big. <laughs> it's like wasted a lot of rough to get one giant stone. So anyways, that's that. I could reproduce this if somebody wants something like that. I don't know what it would cost. Well, I could probably give you an idea. It's not going to look exactly like that, but if you wanted something big like that, I can reproduce it. It's going to be four figures. It's definitely going to be a four figure piece. Uh, or maybe close to four figures. Um, all right, yeah, so like example, this is a gem silica that I bought when I bought like 50 pounds or something. I got lucky and met a miner that works at the Ray Mine and went and bought a giant batch of it before I even knew what it was worth or what it was in the parking lot at Safeway. <laughs> uh, like two weeks in the same, in the, it's the parking lot that Gabby Giffords got shot in, that, that senator or whatever. Uh, and this was literally like a couple, I don't want to say weeks, a couple months after she was shot in that parking lot at the Safeway in Tucson. So, you know, how much did I pay for this? I didn't pay a lot for this, but I bought 50 pounds of stuff and just picked a couple pieces for me so that's kind of gives you an idea as to how some people collect when it comes to cutting rough or even big parcels of minerals you know you put take a piece or two for yourself and sell the rest and it's hard to know sometimes what did i pay for it because it's in a parcel um so this is actually really cool and it's not finished 
but I'm going to finish it. Uh, and the reason that this is cool, I have to show you specifically, this is Ahoyt, obviously. Um, but this is the only Ahoyt that I've ever seen that actually has the ability, it has a trapeche pattern in it. Like it's got the six sided six ling hexagon and you can see it in the bottom. And so it also has it in the top, but I still need to work it because my cutter doesn't, uh, he doesn't grind like with a Dremel and go in. He only does like flat faces or, you know, he can round faces, but he's using wheels. So what I need to do is you can't really see it, but like there's a line and there's a line and there's a line and there's a line and the inside in between of these lines, there's color and I have to grind. I have to scoop this out like that, scoop it out, scoop it out. And then what's left it might looks like this leg doesn't go all the way down, but that's going to be a star. Like that's going to be a fucking star. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> it's there. You can tell and you can just see it. You can see from the crystal shape. Like it's, there's a, there is a trapeche in here. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's not going to be perfect, but it's the only one in existence that I know of. It doesn't mean it can't be done again because quartz does grow like that, but that's fucking rare. It's definitely the weirdest uh, shape, for lack of a better word, or configuration in Ahoite that I've ever seen. So that's that. Is it salvageable? What does that mean? Oh, the stuff I scoop out? No, it's not. It's honestly, you just grind it out. It's going to be clear quartz. Because you. what happens is this is milky. You can kind of see... It's hard to see, but like, so this, there's a layer of milky quartz here and it's just getting out the, the milky quartz so that it enhances the lines, you know, like, can you kind of see how this like cloudiness right here? Well, it'll all disappear and what will be left will be the blue lines. So like the milky cloudy will go away and that's the purpose for scooping it out. All right, that one's done. Uh, this is something that I just acquired in a trade. Um, and generally speaking, I mean, I love Moldavite, but I'm a little jaded and I'm a little spoiled because I went to the Czech Republic in 2004 and I met a bunch of miners and I bought a bunch of really good Moldavite back then for a really low price. And I see the prices today and I'm like, I can buy and sell it, but I don't, I don't know about buying it and keeping it because the prices are just like hard for me to understand. But anyways, I ended up with this one in a trade, um, which is fine. And it's like probably the most poison green Moldavite that I have. No, none of this is for sale, darling. Definitely no. If there is something that's similar or I can replicate, I'll let you know. Like the, the new mite can be replicated. I can cut a massive, unbelievable piece of new mite for you if you want. But it has to be flat because all of what I have is slabs. So that's the nicest poison green moldavite I have ever owned. And I have one just like it, but, a, but less green that I might let go of because this one's better. So it's kind of like an upgrade. It's almost identical in shape. So if that's something that you might be interested in, it would be literally almost the same as this, just it'll be one or two steps away from that apple poison green color. So that is something that I might, might let go of, might. With Moldavite, it's kind of, I don't know, there's no reason to really let it go because who the hell knows what's going to happen with it. Anyway, so that's the latest, that's the, the latest good Moldavite that I've gotten for myself. Uh, all right, I don't know if you guys have seen these before. I've shown, actually I've shown something like this, but these are, I can't remember if I'm gonna keep these or I think I'm gonna make these into jewelry. Uh, oh, I should actually go get that piece of jewelry and show you. Let me go, um, let me see. Uh, I'll show you these and I'll let you keep looking at them and then I'll go get you this show you what I did with the other one. So this is a perfectly clear piece of quartz with a single root heel. And when cut in what's called a pinwheel, you can see in the back, it's really easy to see what that does. So 
this is what it does on the front. And I have a little collection of these. These are, I have two here. I can't remember, I need to look at the rest of them, but I, I had one set in jewelry and I wanna actually go show you the jewelry. I wanna go grab that piece of jewelry and show you because it's absolutely ridiculous. It was just a really cool concept and what to do with a, something that already had a concept put to it. Like this is a really specialized cut. And I've known about it for a while. I've seen it cut, you know, from a bunch of different people. And the first one of these I ever had, it was bigger than this one. But I remember I was doing the setup in the ballroom at the Denver show, in like, I don't know, 2000 and when was that? 2009 or 10? And it was like, as soon as the door opened, some old man walked right into the door and he walked right up to my case and he walked right up to that piece and he bought it in like less than 30 seconds. And it was like, he didn't know me. He didn't know my booth. He didn't know my material. He didn't know that I had that stone. And he literally, I, w I happened to be the first booth in the room. It was a small ballroom. And so it's not like he walked around, but he walked right to my case like this. He walked in the door and he went like right here to my case. And he looked right at, at the similar stone that I had. And he was like, how much is that? Okay, I want it. Pay. It was literally like, the most bizarre shit ever. It was like, how did that just happen? And I had, it was I, the first time I'd ever shown it. I had only had it for like a day. It was just so weird. The whole thing was just like, what? It was crazy. And it was like stupid. It was like $2,000. It wasn't like 300 bucks. You know, it was a lot of money. I was like, holy shit, this is great. So ever since then, I've had a passion for these. It was calling to his soul, but it's also a calling for me because I have a, you know, I have a quartz inclusion problem too. <laughs> All right. So here's another one I'm going to show you. This one is a golden root heel. And so there's different colors. You know, I have one that's an epidote that's green and there's a couple other different colors too. Uh, this is a single faceted root heel in a water clear quartz in a pinwheel cut so that it magnifies the single root heel perfectly. And this one has eight spokes yes this is crazy <laughs> I could just do this all day anyway so yeah that's like super cool Epidote is not in the Rootsheel family uh, I don't know what it is but it's not Rootsheel is titanium dioxide and Epidote is definitely not titanium dioxide uh, so I don't know I kind of debate whether I should go grab that piece of jewelry to show you there's another because I had one of these set but I gotta like run to the other side of the house so I don't know if I should do it or not I've got other rocks to show you well, let's let's leave them there and maybe if you guys are like go get the fucking rock then I'll go get it all right this one here let's do this this is super weird I'll be an old woman <laughs> all right so this is like actually not that special but I just kept it because I thought it was really cool so this is the kind of thing that's like, it, it, I don't really think it has very much value, but it's just cool. It's like an oddity, I guess. I have a collection of what I consider oddity stuff, which is like, wow, that's just so bizarre and weird that like, okay, it fits the oddity collection. So this is um, quartz and this is dioptase and this is malachite and this is from Cocoveld. And what is cool about this is that this just comes off. <laughs> And like, that's how it grew. Like it just grew that way in that little hole with this little cast, All right? See that? So it's like a puzzle piece or something. And you know, like I said, it's not really valuable or anything, but it is clear dioptase and malachite. So it's just weird, you know, I liked it. I was like, I can't, probably can't make a lot of money on it so I might as well just keep it because it's just cool you know so how does it go back on here anyways a tooth yes it's a tooth speaking of tooth yeah I'll show you that one time I have to get I have to get into the safe to show you some other stuff but there's a one of my oddity favorite oddity pieces is I have a full vertebra of some animal that is completely pseudomorphed into turquoise all the way through it. Yeah, puzzle malachite. 
All right, what's next? Let's see. So I've shown this a few times in some of the live shows, not for sale. It's still not for sale, but I've shown it just because a couple I've, people have asked me before about show something from your collection. And this is always one that's just like, what the heck? <laughs> so this, it, you don't have to like rocks to understand why this is cool. You don't have to like, like rocks to understand why anything is cool, but this, anybody can tell that it's cool because it's got, Uh, I never really got a full count, but it's at least seven or eight bubbles that all move in succession through these tubes that are all perpendicular to each other, which is like really cool. You never seen this one, Emily? I know I've shown it at least twice. Not at some like crazy hour. I almost, almost sold this. And then I realized that I would be very sad and making a big mistake if I sold it. I even put a price on it and I even had a customer for it. And then I, I backed out of it and I was like, fuck, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> so it's tricky sometimes. There's, that's all, that's always happens to mineral dealers that there's times in our life where we're like oh i wish i hadn't sold that one or oh i wish i had kept at least one of those like the amphibole quartz from pakistan it's kind of ordinary amphibole and epidote it's pretty common and ordinary now but the i was the first one to import that stuff because nobody was buying quartz from pakistan back in 2003 and four and five and the first stuff that came out was pink and blue and it was just like what what pink and blue it was so good and i didn't keep one because i didn't know better i was too young i didn't understand that it wasn't going to come again or that i should keep one just in case it didn't come again and it never came again and i'm i was like oh man you should get one same thing with this yeah there was like a i had a group of faddens with chlorite and it was a water clear perfect fodden crystal with a perfect green line going through it it was like oh and i didn't keep one of those either which was a big mistake all right, anyways, let's see. I got four more stones, and then we'll see how you're doing. We'll see how I'm doing. So let's see. I'm going to have to figure out how to show this one. So this is an iris agate, and it's from California, and it's got a really special pattern to it, which isn't typical for the iris. And let me see if this is going to be too much. Uh, hold on. I'm not seeing the iris. What's going on here? Huh. What's going on here? Maybe I'm confused. Yeah, it is cat ears, but this is supposed to show rainbows in it. Huh, that's weird. Uh, well, I'll have to investigate that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> it did have rainbows in it. All right. What is next? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so you might have seen yeah sunlight you're probably right uh, you might have seen some of the Laramar posts that I made on Instagram this is the one that I ended up keeping for myself yummy 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 I have really I have more really good Laramar cabs if you're interested that's the one I'm keeping but there's some other good ones. <clears throat> yeah, I have some other really nice ones for sure. All right. I got one more after this one. And this is one of... Alice, are you still with us? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. This is one of the pyrites that I kept for myself. It's got a negative crystal 
or a manifestation crystal, whatever you want to call it, with a little bit of a rainbow situation going on in there. I know, right? Doesn't that look like, it kind of looks like an ammonite, doesn't it? You're talking about the Laramar, like this. I didn't even notice that. That's so, that's pretty cool. It's like a spiral. Thanks for pointing that out. Natalie, I did have one, and um, Fermenter Mentor bought it <clears throat> like a month ago. Anyways, back to this piece. We're almost done. So it's just a really nice clear pyrite. It's got this thing going on. It's got like half the dodecahedron going on and the little knob on the front. One of many that I've kept because I love them. <clears throat> All right, my last piece, last collection piece of the night. And then if you want to see something else, we can look at something else. And if not, then not. Okay, Doc. Uh, I haven't shown a lot of covalite on the lives, but I've shown them every once in a while on the page. I have a good stock of covalite, and this is a carving that Dalen Hargrave did, and I totally love it. And I had an astrological reading in in the Vedic uh, Vedic style, and the Vedic astrologer said, I don't remember what the exact words are, but it had a lot to do with <clears throat> uncovering things like rocks and then stuff from the deep sea. And she said, uh, mermaid. And I was like, oh man, well, I need to keep this now. So this is my Dale and Hargrave mermaid uh, covalite. I'm having a hard time showing you the covalite. What's going on here? Covalite's weird. You got to learn to control it. It's literally like. Yeah, so the covalite is not cheap, but I can do whatever you want with it because I've got the stock. So if you got an idea and you want something carved, I can probably do it. Um, you know, I can sell you the stone beforehand and figure something out like that. So, yep, yeah, there you have it with the covalite. That is a special piece. That's why I decided to keep it. So that concludes the, the section of collection. We are, selling, we are not selling collection, but we are showing you good things. How you like? Congratulations. You are among the very few who have gotten to see some of the collection stuff. And we will be changing that as we do more. It's encouraging. I like this. The only problem is, is that it's hard to stay up for people who are like, I got to go to bed. I got to work, which I understand. So maybe what I'll do, uh, I'll try to do this on a Saturday night. Maybe we'll do a special Saturday night show so that anybody who wants to stay up can force themselves to stay up because they don't have to work the next day or something like that. Natalie, Catalie, you did it. Thank you. Was it worth it? Mermaids are real. Rusty's a mermaid, if you didn't know. Nah, Rusty is, is good at uncovering things in the unseen, which I'm about to make a pretty big move and go get a bunch of rocks out to the ground too. So we'll see what happens. Awesome. Sweet. Well, I leave it up to you, whoever's still here. I'm perfectly happy to show you some more rocks if you have requests for purchases. I'm not going to show any more collection stuff. I have Ahoite that has been shown, but some of you probably haven't seen it all. I've got Moldavite raw and jewelry. I've got Libyan desert glass. There's stuff that you haven't seen because I keep replenishing the flat. 
Um, what else? There's more pendants. Uh, there's more stuff. Pink cobalion. We already did that. So you were you were at work. So we can go over that again. Um, let's see. So stuff like this is twenty. Let me zoom in. Twenty. Twenty. Fifteen. That one's really pink. That one's probably the pinkest one in the group. That one's thirty. Fifteen. That one's fifteen. Twenty. Seventy. Big one on right near the bottom. There's this one is seventy five. Five three three five, and this one five three oh two is sixty five. That's probably the pinkiest pink one. I would say followed by that one. And I like that one. That little one's really pink. That's that's it for the pinky. Calcite with calcopyrite. I do not. 5302. Got you on that, Deanna. Uh, on a Friday. No, I do not have calcite with calcopyrite. I am working through existing inventory and I haven't been able to stay fresh with all the, all the, all the things out there. I wish I could keep buying and buying and buying, but shit has been crazy in the market. So we been going through what to have instead of constantly expanding. All right. So, Diana, any other requests? Anybody? Uh, I could show you some Ahoy. All right. Super. All right, saturated out. Oh, wait, let's do it. All right, all right, one second. Let me put my collection stuff away real quick. Any more gem silica? Yes. Uh, what just happened to? Uh, did you? Are you? What sort of price range are you looking for? Did you? I didn't show those four uh, small ones very well, but they were really good. I don't know if that's something you're interested in. I've got a bunch of different types of gem silica. You know, there's some that's less translucent but more blue. There's some that's really translucent. There's stuff with inclusions. There's stuff with malachite. pieces like translucent blue like totally rough I could do that next week probably I'll take out some gem silica rough I need to go through some of it anyways it's time to let go of some of the rough that I have I have a decent bit of it all right what is happening here ah it's yes Okay, duck. Tony, Tony, what's going on, Tony? You still around? 
Look at your timing, man. I'm gonna show Sanaha White. So this is the one, probably the only really saturated piece that I have. And Emily or whoever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a thousand bucks for that one. It's marked down from 15. Uh, this is, that one's polished. Oh, gotcha. This one, yeah, a thousand bucks, Emily. That's what I can do. That's lower than I've gone before. I don't really want to go lower than that. And this guy, this is natural point. And this one can be, uh, let's see. Uh, I can probably do this one for 750. And this is a nice, perfect jewelry point. Perfecta mundo. Eight fifty seven way. What's the gem? Uh, Eight fifty seven. What's the stone? The gem silica. Help me out, and I'll help you out on that tabatoge. Uh, these are the ones I wanted to show you. Which gem are you talking about? Tabatoge. So here's a nice little perfect phantom. It's got a twin on the side. Not super saturated, but it's really nice. Emily, so I told you on that one, I could do a thousand on the other one. This one, <clears throat> I could do 400 on this. Uh, Tabatoge, I don't know which, I don't know what kind of stone eight uh, 57 is so if you help me find it I can weigh it for you but I need some help because I got too many rocks in front of me have a great night Chancellor the little chipper what uh, I'm confused chipper oh the one that I showed earlier tonight This one. This is a good rock. You talking about this one? Yes. 857. That is a good rock. 100%. 120 is a great deal on that. I said 120, so you can have it for 120 if you want. It's got the best of both worlds because it's polished. So you get the nice luster. You get the color to come out. And you got the druzy. You got the malachite. A little bit of tenorite. Fortification goes all the way around, which is super cool. That's like when they've got these little cavities that kind of look like druzy pockets or whatever. Uh, Tony, I'm going to come see you in a couple weeks. We'll be in touch. Cool. Tabatoes, just say yes if you want. You, you definitely want that. I mean, I... Honestly, like, I think that's cheap, and that's an amazing piece. I would totally go for that. 120, let me know. Tony, 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 definitely want to talk soon, brother. Let's catch up. Just showing these other ones. I haven't really appreciated these under the light that much yet. These are almost a matching pair. Could probably work as butterfly or something. Look at this. This is cool. Just different types. Big old malachite ball on this one. I'm showing them because it's fun.
That one's crazy. Super fun rocks, man. I just bought these a couple weeks ago just because I love them. Every time I see little piles like this, I have to buy some. It doesn't matter if I need them. It doesn't matter if they're – I just – I'm addicted to this shit. <laughs> I love it. When I see this color, I'm like, oh, I have to buy that. <laughs> Especially when it's clear. Like this shit, oh, it's just so amazing. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's all so different. It's so fun and easy to collect because – Every mine is different. Every production is different. There's different blues and greens and druzies and malachites and pseudomorphs and saginite and all this other shit and fortifications. And man, it's a whole world. And the whole gem silica world is like, it's just awesome. It's kind of cultish. <laughs> Not really, but the people who are into it are like really into it, which is super cool. Anyways, uh, let's see. Why did I... I have the camera here. So if you guys are interested in those, I can give you prices. Uh, Tabatoge, no, I'm definitely not pushing it on you, but I do recommend that one for 120 is a really good deal. Uh, yeah, these are actually more. I paid a lot for these. That's cheap. Yes, yes, nice. Looking forward to it, Tony. I, um... Uh... I may need to be in touch soon to let you know. I would love to come see you and spend a little bit of time. I've got a lot to accomplish when I'm there. All righty. Tabatoge. Got you on that. Deanna. Oh, what did I pay for these things? I paid quite a bit. Um, I can do that one for 125 I paid 80 bucks for it. I'll make it 120. All right, cool. Tabatoja got you on that one. I saw that, Tony. I saw one of those pictures and I was like, what's going on? How far away from Joburg is that? Is that way out in the Northern Cape? up to you guys if there's people left hour and a half all right cool that's not too bad uh if you guys want to see some other actually i forgot to show all of these here's another really nice ahoy emily if you're still looking i know you've seen this one before um you can mark it down this is a really good piece like it's a complete piece it's got good color it's nice I could do, this one's marked 750. I could do 550 on this one. Super good. Very good. Okay, doc. Okay, one last one in front of me. I have a place right outside of Jober. Very cool. That's great. Are you going back and forth between them, Tony? I got you, Emily. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Emily. Thanks, Emily. Uh, three, five, eight, six, five, fifty. Yay. Right. Still thinking about the top taste, but I don't know which one to ask for. Well, well, what are you? What are you? What's the? Is it for resale? Is it for keep? What's your aesthetic? Do you want it for aesthetic? Do you want it for energetics? Do you want it for value? You know, the ones on Matrix that are, have isolated crystals are more like mineral specimen type. Scientific has more value because of the aesthetic value. You know, like, do you want more dioptase on the thing? I can give you a little bit of a discount. Cool. Sounds good, Tony. Well, let's be in touch. 
I'm going to be landing and hopefully you'll be around. Um, I'm going to be on the move pretty good, but we should be in, we should definitely be in touch. Uh, I should be hitting the ground and probably I'm going to be crashing in Joburg for sure on the 20, what day is it? 22nd. I can bring you Moldavite. You need to let me know what you need and how much, and I'll try to bring what I can. Uh, I do have some, but whatever you need, let me know. We can communicate all of that through um, direct message, Facebook or Instagram. It's fine. All right, last one. Last rock of the night. Here you go. Who is still here? Clarity to the crystals. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, it's not impossible. For clarity in the crystals, usually you got to go Sumeb. They're usually more expensive. They're harder to find. It's not impossible, but for clarity, you got to get smaller crystals. I mean, you can you can also get lucky, but they, when they get really clear and really big, they get crazy. I mean, like a single crystal like this on Matrix that's big is like I had one that was like twenty k. It was fucked up. It was good, but anyway. So Dana Eubanks, what does me, what does me mean? Uh, Tony, I don't for that night. If you're going to be there, it'd be good to link up that night. 22nd. Anyways, here's this. Uh, so what is, what is everybody saying me for? Did I ask a question? <laughs> they required an answer that was me. <laughs> who's still here? Okay. Yes. Ask who's still here. All right. Anyways, here's this one. Okay, great. Sorry. I'm bouncing between rocks. It's getting late. I'm losing my mind. Ah! So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Ah, 380 on this one. That's what I can do. All righty, everybody. I think that's it for tonight. I'm going to play some music for you. And then we'll call it quits. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Really enjoyed tonight. Had a lot of fun. Uh, that was that got really funny there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, Tony, I'll direct message you in like 10 minutes. We'll talk about it. I'm done with my show, but uh, I got to cl- wrap this up the proper way. That's fine, Spirit Moon. Just DM me about it.
that's awesome. Had fun with you tonight. Thanks. That was some hilarious shit today. <laughs> that was definitely one of the funniest live shows we've had in a while. <laughs> Oh yeah, we definitely, uh, the, the, the main show has probably already been posted. The second one will be posted as soon as I turn the camera off, so you'll be able to watch them. There was a lot of good stuff in the second part too, like for sure, some really crazy shit. And for, I did, we did a, uh, a section of my collection as a show and tell. There was like 12 or 13 pieces. And yeah, you should go back and watch it. It's pretty awesome. Some cool rocks. Anyways, thank you everybody. Thank you for still here. Many blessings to you. Coming to you from Transmission Throwing Stones. We are in service to the highest good of all living beings and thank you for participating and allowing us to express ourselves. And we look forward to seeing you again. Tony, I'm gonna hit you up right after this. Let's talk a little bit. Talk to you soon, everyone. We'll be back um, maybe midweek. I don't know, but definitely next Sunday or Saturday. We'll let you all know. Shirley will post it. Keep an eye on our Instagram. Have a good night, everyone.